Well, you guys know what that is. Some of that, some of that. Uh, right now, actually, all over here. Right now, it's actually raining. It's begin or begun to rain. You can kind of see also in the stone, it's a little bit drier underneath the van. So yes, it is trash picking day, as you guys see in the title. And yes, it's raining like always. And uh, we will be going uh, trash picking. Yeah, just like the title says, it's another day. Add it to the add it to the books. And I want to also say thank you to everyone out there who told me about the uh, the buttons on the back, such as this button right here uh, pushes this thing. Oh, there you go. Oh, jeez. And it sticks to that little magnet right there and it won't move. Thank you to everyone who told me about that. Also, with the unlocking of the van itself, there's a couple buttons you have to press. And I think I might have pressed them that one stop a while back in my trash picking video when the uh, I was like, what's that? And it just started making this beeping sound. I think that was it unlocking uh, the sensor uh, when I did that because I haven't had really an issue in the past couple days with it. So uh, it's trash picking day. Let's get out there to try to find some treasure and let's make it a good one. Let's do it. Alrighty, first up. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Looks like we have a little exit sign as well. Busted? Not. That's nothing. I don't know if this ain't gonna sell. Somebody might want this. I don't know. Somebody might want it, somebody might not. I think it'd be like cool, like a dorm room kind of thing. I don't know. And of course, what do you expect? The fan. Two bed frames in their yard. Oh, not for me. Say played against sports. This is probably like it's probably like 50 bucks. I played against sports, but they're really rusty, and I don't think I'd ever go back there again. Oh, oh. these bars are like so pricey, and these are this is actually a better one. International. These international ones look vintage, the standard ones aren't. The international ones are made in Canada. I feel like I just deadlifted 300 pounds for no reason. Back's hurting, out of breath. Gotta lay off the pizza. Keeping with tradition. You can almost always count on a microwave. It's amazing because this door. Oh my god. Just 
banged it right. Yep, there you go. First scratch right there. Nice. It's amazing because I find those uh, those things everywhere. Then right on cue, we have a toaster oven. Wow, I can't believe I already put a scratch in it. That's because the door went open on me, then stayed, or it went closed on me. Am I upset right now? Not really. But I wish I could do it over, I'd go back in time. Yes, yes I would. This is disgusting. That's not even metal. Oh, that is metal. If I can go back in time and refix that, yes, I would. But I think uh, when I purchased the vehicle, I got one year of dent and ding removal. So. I'll go back in like six months when I have nine or ten other dents in it. Always. Always finding metal. Oh man. So this might this like this door is just I can't believe I did that. I really can't believe it. driving to the other side of town. One of my favorite streets to go down for uh, for trash picking is usually this one right up here. And right now it looks like there's trash out there. Uh, I also have to get to a storage facility here in two and a half hours. Uh, there's a storage auction going on. I think it's in Bethlehem or Allentown. It's a decent, decent drive, it's like 30 minutes, so. I probably won't be recording, there's nothing over there. Probably won't be recording much there. If I do record, there'll be another video. Uh, if I buy one, I'll definitely record that. But I think there's only like nine lockers up for sale, or nine units. This road was really disappointing. Oh, back there, probably two years ago, there was somebody who was throwing away a bunch of clothes and it was all like, the stuff that I love, like the 90s, the mid-90s stuff, there's a trash truck down there. That's not good. That's not good. And they threw away a whole bag of it. That was the golden years. Yeah. Well, usually they don't pick up here, but this street has been grabbed over. Alright, I've seen something over here. Can't tell if it's metal, piece of wood. That person has their brake light out seen it coming down this way. Oh, yeah, is that a light fixture? I don't know what this is. It is. It's like a light fixture. It's all disgusting. Oh, you know what it was probably used for? Saltwater tank. Saltwater fish tank. Probably one of those big ones, like the 50 gallon or a 60 gallon fish tank. So I've seen this dumpster over here, but I can see from the top, it's all just... Huh. It's got noses on, so it's, a, it's someone's house, but I can see it's all just a bunch of, like, lawn stuff. Like, wood and roots. But it looks like that house is foreclosed on, because it's got a thousand paperworks on the front. I did, however, come over here and see this. How's that dresser look? Oh, it's broken. It's broken. Where did I see it? Oh, it's broken on that. Let's try for it. Down. Garbage. Got probably 
three bucks in brass. It's awesome. Oh, nope, putting it back. The whole piece of slate's all broken. I'm gonna say that's a nice chalkboard. A nice vintage antique chalkboard, but the whole slate is all cracked. And I do not have access to new slate for a chalkboard. It's not exactly like I come across it that often. But that would have been nice. I try to stay away from broken things because it's just a disaster. Just an absolute disaster. What is this? Oh, shelf. Seen better days. Also, jingling, jingling lamp. Some pots and paints. Pans, pots and pans. It's the day of metal looks like. Pots and oh. That's just people magazines. Grab this. Fiskers, that's a good brand. They make good scissors. I think that's it. That's a nice, uh, I forgot what those are called. Day of metal. Nothing but metal today. It's all rusty out on the bottom, so I'm not going to try to resell this. I have had one in the past, and I didn't sell it. I think, oh, it's a baker's rack. That's what it's called. I want to see what this toolbox thing was. Empty.
So I guess this is the only thing. Oh, aside from that vintage, like random Christmas, like a piano book, like for piano lessons. Let's put that over there. These guys are shot. Those games, yeah, that's just scrap metal. What even is this? Piano arrangement with chords, cymbals, organ, and guitar. What year is this? 1957. Yeah, it's, you saw it. So that's that. Uh, but we got a ton of scrap metal. This stuff, I gotta figure out. I want to try. I think I want to try to sell these. Uh, so the, generally, the going price online and Facebook Marketplace is like fifty cents a fifty cents a pound. I know when uh, when I brought the stuff to play it against sports, they sold it for fifty cents a pound. They paid me twenty five cents per pound, but they would not take any of these because they're way too rusty. And I'm not going back there because that was a long drive and it was not fun. It's not an enjoyable experience. If you guys are curious about what I'm talking about. Uh, don't be afraid to subscribe and then check out my other videos. I did make a video on trading and stuff to play it against sports and It just it wasn't very pleasant It was almost like I felt like I knew more than the people there and it was just like really awkward and they wouldn't take the right things and they They weren't it wasn't even like the price thing It was more about like they were just calling my stuff junk while they had stuff that was just so bad and it just wasn't good um, Yeah <laughs> Uh, but today is a fun day of trash picking. We found a ton of metal. All this stuff is not going to the landfill. I think we we'll stop by the scrapyard here shortly. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to probably save, uh, save these two plates. I did quickly look online. There were a couple of these listed. The 45 pound one sold for like $15 on eBay plus shipping. So that's like, I might as well just scrap it after all the fees and all that. But these, I think, uh, I might save these for the flea market. They look like they're older than uh these standard plates so we got a decent lot here maybe i'll throw it all on facebook marketplace ask like 60 dollars for the whole lot uh you have the curling bar as well and the uh, bench press bar which i don't think that's the actual correct term but yeah that that bench press bar i think weighs 45 pounds curling bar might be weigh like 25 possibly they have like these little weights on the end as well <laughs> funny thing is if i was trying to like lift one of those right now I could probably do the bar and like a 10 pound on each side. I could not do 135 right now. That uh, my bench pressing days are long gone and all it does is make me tired and sore the next day. So not about that life anymore. But scrap metal day looks like fun day of trash picking. Picked up this guy right here as well as as well as this small book. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, smack the like button, subscribe down below for more trash picking videos just like this. And well, catch up with you guys next time for the next adventure. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.